Next up, I'm going to show off using a simple shell. In this case, the B374K shell. Open source and available on google.com code. And we can go ahead and upload it, send it, and got a little diagnostic information about it being there. By the way, I believe the one I chose here is the polymorphic one. So if I cat out uh, the file, you notice it looks mostly like gibberish, and this one should change each time it's ran, which is probably overkill for our purposes. But we got the file up there, so now let's actually surf to it and see what we have. So we uploaded a better shell, and now we can just go ahead and log into it. I've set my password previously. And here we go. Here you see we have a simple file explorer delete files, download them, edit them, so on and so forth. We can also get a list of processes. We can use some PHP functionality if we want. We can issue any old command we also want, like here's ls. And I could use the cat of password again if I really wanted to. Same thing as before pretty much, just a little fancier shell. This one though also has some database functionality. So we'll go log into the database. I happen to know the password on it, but some people leave this blank. I can show the database. And you see there's a few different databases in there. Now let's do a little bit more complicated thing. Uh, I happen to know no wasp is in there, so let's go ahead and paste that in and here we're going to use the NoWasp database show the tables and select everything from account and we got errors that's not good that's pretty sad actually oh it helps if you don't actually put in your comments in the process there we go that's a little bit more like it and you see we have captured data credit card info so on and so forth this is the list of tables and we have the passwords and the names in that particular table. Now, Matilde is designed specifically to be insecure, so this isn't a great example, but you get the idea. And we also have various other features, like we can do a bind shell, so we can turn that into a port or use netcat to get into a board. We also do a reverse shell, so if it's behind a firewall, it can reverse the shell back out to us. So that's some basic functionality of this particular shell, B374K.